Hello guys and welcome to another beautiful day on this beautiful place called Fernland. Look at those beautiful, beautiful wheat farms down there. We should really have a good look at those because this is the last time we're going to see those four farms here. Today we're going to expand our farm so I'm going to build four new farms up on top of those and this is the last time we have this beautiful view and you can see only one of the villagers is working but i guess but i guess they are most of the time they are working because you can't see uh, most most of the wheat grown so they are harvesting sometimes i wish villagers work uh would work as chunk loaders because as you can see they they really like to stand uh next to the chunk borders uh, yeah, if I press F3G, in case you're new to this series, uh, you can see that the the farms are boxed in uh, in chunk loaders. Uh, I mean, in the chunk borders. So yeah, I do this because I don't want. Oh, look at this beautiful new guy joining joining the four joining the force here. Huh, and apparently we have a new zombie here. Uh, this this thing is working. Let me see if I if I have a space for this guy here. I don't think I can get rid of any of those. Or maybe I can, I don't know. I know I don't need you. I, I just recently lost all of those villagers. Yeah, not all of them, like this whole section here as well as this section here. Because... Uh, and let me kill this guy. I didn't have blocks here. You can see I placed iron blocks here. Uh, temporarily of course uh, and I didn't have anything here and apparently they the zombies they can climb here and they can hit the the villagers from that spot so this is really sad <laughs> I lost a bunch of villagers but that doesn't matter because maybe maybe this entire system has to go as well and I will explain more about it uh, now right right now so I have been doing some some trades here and maybe let's trade some iron maybe I can demonstrate using this do I have anyone willing to trade some iron here okay this guy we have to unlock him why didn't I bring any emeralds with me okay this should be enough um, and this is a problem with all designs that use the same mechanic here um, I can't hear the sound of the game, so okay. Let, let me let me try and fix that, and I will be right back. Uh, okay, guys. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to fix the sound problem, so this is going to be an episode without any sounds. I'll, I'll get this fixed for the next episode, anyways. Uh, okay, so let me get back to the point. So, uh, what is this guy? Okay, let's let, let me get rid of this guy. So you can see here this black outline, and this is the collision box for the trip wire. Okay. So uh, what happens is, uh, if you watch the XP orbs, whenever I trade uh, with the villagers, we get some XP. And the problem is, this XP uh, will actually trigger the trip wire, and this is really bad because uh, the 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 trip wire actually. Uh, one takes this piston here so uh, when a new villager comes in uh, to join our team here <laughs> of, of sellers and traders uh, it's supposed to, to land inside this slot but with the XP orbs it messes up this piston here sometimes uh, the tripwire would attack a XP orb entering uh, its collision box and then leaving it so it pulses twice resetting it so no problem but sometimes it will pulse only once and this messes up the the selection system here and uh, it means that we can get more than one villager in one slot or no villagers in in a, one slot and yeah this is yeah a new guy is coming now and he's going to disappear magically watch this guys watch this oh he disappeared <laughs> it's a nitwit guys it doesn't trade anything okay so basically all the systems uh that have tripwire here can suffer from this problem uh, especially if something uh, needs a one tick pulse needs to, to 
change states like a flip-flop from this so this means that maybe we will have to come up with a new trading system so if you guys know of any stable good uh, trading system uh, that leaves only the villagers here. I don't. I don't. I don't like having mine cards here. Only the villagers here. I don't. No, don't like having twice as many entities here. Just let me know in the comments because I sure will need one. If I can't find any, I will stick to this one maybe, or maybe I will use one of my own designs. But my new design is pretty big. It's nothing as compact as this, as simple to build as this. So okay. Uh, there was also a little change here. Uh, let's see. Down here we have, uh, yeah, magma blocks. So uh, we are actually getting rid of the villagers. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, last time I showed you guys a improvised uh, spider farm uh, here, and it's still improvised, but I improved it a lot. So, ta-da! So, we still have lots of spiders. I extended it horizontally. Uh, I, I closed the back side of this. And also, we have soul sand here. I have this sword now. I combine the two of them. So, I have looting, looting three. Yay! Bane of Arthropods. Okay. But that's useful here. So, I can basically uh, one hit kill, one shot those guys here. It's pretty cool. And it's looting three. So, very useful. And I, I built this really large so that when I am on this side, uh, basically new spiders can spawn uh, on the opposite side. So that's very easy to, to deal with. And, oh, and invisible, I love the invisible spiders. They're trick, tricky to deal with, but here they're trapped. <laughs> so no problems there. And I, I think almost all of the spiders can see me. I don't, I don't really understand how how far they they need to be to see me i try to tweak this but like sometimes a spider really far away can see me like that spider sometimes can see me and sometimes spiders that are closer cannot see me uh this is not perfect I, either if i get too close they can hit me hey demonstrate hit me yeah apparently he won't hit me okay uh and all of those items will disappear because i have a uh, mine card collection system here. I can get some XP. So yeah, it's a really convenient system. Get it, get it. Okay, so more spiders spawn here. So I spent some time here. I have to watch for the durability of this sword because it's only iron, you know. And you, oh yeah, as you can see this spider was able to hit me. So let me get some of the XP. It's not a lot, unfortunately, those guys don't give out a lot of XP. But that's cool for a simple farm like this. And once again, uh, if, if you try to build this in your map, don't be surprised if it doesn't work as efficiently as my version here. Uh, because with my version, I really did a great job uh, with the perimeter. So everything you see around here has torches. No mobs can spawn in most of the places here. And also, I did a lot of caving here. I went really crazy underground. Uh, here's a collection point. Uh, the collection system, as I mentioned, is just a minecart, nothing else. And I have a lot of spider string here and spider eyes. And uh, yeah, this is working. Why do I have arrows here? Uh, maybe maybe they, sh they should stay here. No? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I already mentioned it, but uh, just showing you guys. I covered the back. The top, you can see the top. I'm jumping here just so you guys can see. It's just slabs. <laughs> so it's a really simple farm, just a platform, collection system and cobblestone fences or cobblestone walls. And using looting, I get XP and a lot of string. Guess what? Okay, so as I said, I made, I did a great job uh, with, with lighting up the area, you know? <laughs> oh man. Let's try. This is the first item I'm actually fixing here. Oh no, I fixed some pickaxes in the past. Okay, 3 XP. This is good enough. We'll, we'll leave this here. Place that there. And okay, the spiders almost killed me, but I'm fine. I guess this is going here. 
Uh, let it here so that I can craft more swords and when needed. And uh, yeah, we have enough string for now. Okay, so let's get to the job. Let's start on building the new farms here. Okay, so here's my idea. Uh, the iron blocks are where the, the floor level is going to be, where the farmland is going to be. So if so, this is going to be our collection point for the carrot farm, which is the next farm we're going to build, and then it goes straight down to the the same spot where the mine carts uh, drop the the wheat. So yeah, this this should save us some resources because one farm is send, sending its output to the other farm, and so I don't have to use a lot of hoppers for this. Uh, on the other hand. So we have to, to think about the turbo mode that, I, that I'm wanting to install here. So this is hopper level, farmland level, and this is where the dispenser is going to be. So if I use the same redstone everywhere, there's going to be a dispenser here and a dropper here shooting up. And I still need room for the redstone, uh, which I'm sure I can get to work, but you see there's going to be a hopper here yeah on the other hand it would be great to have the collection point next to next to the turbo mode thing here yeah that would be really useful huh because when the when this guy when this guy is harvesting constantly i'm not sure if he can see or she can see the that those two spots never have carrots on and they will move back and forth making the turbo mode a little bit slower i, I haven't tested this in creative so i'm not sure uh, as i always mention guys i can always do tests i can test i can analyze everything but this series i'm i'm trying my best to not analyze everything just a few things because Otherwise, I can't have fun. I, I will get paranoid with <laughs> efficiency and performance. So I just I would just want to try things out. So I think I'm gonna risk it. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. So now I guess planning time is over. It's building time now. Oh no! I just realized that I have to make a decision here. I just remembered why the collection point is. At the center usually with this farm uh, when i designed it i made the collection point in the center because uh, then the villager uh, is at a will be at a shorter distance from every other uh, spot on the farm most of the time and also because of the light levels because if the collection point is at the center it doesn't get too much affected by the the sunlight and if i have my collection point here I can't make this all glass because the system will not work during the day, which is really bad. So I can either cover uh, all the back of the farm with solid blocks or blocks that don't let light pass anyways, or I can move the collection points to the center right here where they actually should be, where, they're, where it's actually better for them. And then I'll, I can have the glass that I want. Okay, so I guess it's something that I, the, the looks that I want with the performance that I want. So, okay, okay, let's, let's remake it. <laughs> All right, I decided to go with a simplistic design that will save me some trouble when, when I finally have to do the redstone for, for this. So, Basically, all the farms will just send their items in this direction and to this final collection point, meaning I can remove these things and use this space to, for, the, for the redstone signals that I have to send to the turbo mode uh, devices here. But for now, uh, my only worry is, is to finish one of the farms. I want to at least finish the farms and get uh, some villagers in here just to test things out uh, and cover this. This is not supposed to be covered just yet. And close this and this as well. This should be fine. 
should be even more interesting because when villagers collect things around this area here there's a chance they will drop through the through the farmland blocks because they are lower uh, than the regular dirt blocks okay so next phase Till all the soil, bring some carrots, have a creeper explode your sugarcane farm, get to plant all those carrots, fix your villager trading thing, and now we have to pick one of those villagers, uh, probably one from the back here, so we have a little bit of time to take care of those. So is this guy a nitwit? Yeah, those guys are nitwits, so I'm not going to run for them. Okay, this guy here is a Fletcher. I think I can I can use you. So let's get a minecart for you. Woohoo! Yes! We don't have to worry because there are powered rails back there. She's coming back. I said she's come yes, come back, come back, come back. This way. This way, my dear villager. Oh, you stopped. Oh, you decided to control the minecart. I'm not sure I can jump over you. I can. Oh, now you want to go the opposite direction. You are... You are so special. Okay. Okay. She's in. I think she's eager to start working here. I don't, I don't even think we need to block her. Because she wants to work. She don't, she don't want to run around. You, you guys want to see? You guys want to see? I always try to hit the perfect box, but I can't. Okay. Oh, I don't have bone meal on me. Okay, you stay there. And I will get some bone meal for you. Uh, let me block this off using just cobble. And I will check if I have any bones here. Uh, I think I have mob drops on this chest really far away yay that's right apparently i'm doing bone meal for the first time <laughs> this is supposed to be a pure villager so let let's destroy the path so she doesn't want to go uh, also this okay block this what happened here are you harvesting already okay let's try this one and this one. Do you see those those delicious carrots? You're supposed to work on them. What are you doing? <laughs> see here, delicious carrot, delicious carrot. Come on, do some villager thing. Do I have to throw her some? Oh, she's working. She's definitely working. And if I give her some carrots. Hey, take the carrots. I gave her 14 carrots. I'm not sure how many we have down there. So she's probably going to try and plant those here. I can replace these with glass probably already. Break these. Yes, she's just giving back the carrots. Look at this, guys. This is amazing. So this is why I don't know why... We don't have more people using this system instead of having two villagers for a single farm. So this only requires one villager and it's super simple and very easy to do. Okay. 
Oh, the carrots are here. I was blind all this time. <laughs> okay, okay. So let's clean this up. By the way, guys, look at how how much wheat we have. We have all of this here. We will have to take care of the storage now. We have this much here. Almost well, an entire chest. We also have this. So we can take out the gunpowder. We also have this and more hoppers. Wow, I don't think I need. I will need to craft a hopper so soon. <laughs> Except I will. Uh, okay. And also here, I had to. I had one. I have one full. Uh, one chest full of seeds. Uh, plus this. I don't think I have any any extra seeds. And also I have all of this hay here, hay bales, so yeah, I've been crafting some of the blocks. I even having, I even had <laughs> a crafting table down here for the crafting. So I guess now I will have to take care of the storage because we're, we're going to get carrots as well down here. And this is going to, this is going to be a problem, but yeah, uh, I think, I think I can do. I think I can do one more, one more carrot farm today, but I will still need to wait for the for the villager to to produce more carrots because I basically ran out of carrots. I only have those 23 plus maybe something extra here, say yes. So maybe I can do yet another farm. So why not? Let's do another farm in this episode. I heard it's possible to get one of the advancements by crafting a diamond hole. So do I have any more sticks anywhere? So this is what I'm hoping to get here. I'm sure I had sticks back on the other on the other base. So let's make some here. Okay. Uh, those will stick together. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I have some sticks down here. Oh, do I have slimes here? Oh, I don't, but I have hay bale. Okay. No monsters. Okay, I actually have two diamonds here. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting that at all. So, yay, an advancement. Okay. Uh, oh, is, is two diamonds all I got? Okay, there we go, guys. Oh, there's no advancement for making a diamond hole. You guys tricked me. You guys tricked me into making a diamond hole. Are you happy now? Are you satisfied with what are you doing? Okay, I have more diamond, but I've but seen uh, aura form here. Yeah, because I don't need that, that many diamonds. But, oh man, do I have to use? Maybe maybe the, the, the advancement, I get advancement by using the hole. So let, let's try this. Okay, guys, second try. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use a diamond hole. <laughs> and nothing happened. You guys tricked me. You guys tricked me. There is no advancements for crafting or using a diamond hole. Guys, look at this. I went back down here to get some more carrots to finish planting and everything up there. I will leave three slots for them as well. And I have more than two stacks of carrots now. All, all of this produced by a single villager up here. So, and there's carrot here. Why is there carrot? And we are even wasting carrots. I don't understand. Why is this thing so efficient? And why is there carrots there? I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this is, this is awesome. I'll, I'm going to be able to finish planting everything. And soon enough, I'll be able to bring one villager so that he can do the whole down, 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 down thing here. Oh, let's try to save this one by picking a villager from back here. And it's going to be this fisherman. So let's see if this guy is going to be replaced correctly. And yes. <laughs> so let's bring another totally pure farmer villager. Hey pop her out of the minecart. She took damage anyways. And okay, let's throw her some carrots. Pick them up. Okay, so there is some delay between the villager realizing that he or she has things to do. But after that, she's going to be working for us. Just like this one. 
very efficiently, very nicely. Oh, and there's another carrot there, but she's going, she's going, she's going there, and eventually she will pick it up, won't she? <laughs> and she did. Look at this! Look at this! It's working. <laughs> so we have another little guy here planting and working for us. We have actually two of them and it's pretty nice. So do your little dance for the camera, okay? <laughs> so now all the carrots that are true to her are going to be back in the storage area. And this thing with only one farm, it's producing like crazy. And now I'm going to, ha I'm going to have twice as much. So this is amazing, <laughs> truly amazing. And this will also require me to build uh, a storage system, a proper storage system as soon as possible, a zap, because otherwise. <laughs> and yeah, look at this here, back here it's a mess. The reason why I'm not building the, I haven't built the storage system yet is because I'm not exactly sure how I want to do it. I still have to wire the turbo mode things here. You guys can see that I, that I haven't placed the dispenser up there for the, the, the carrot turbo mode, but that doesn't matter now. Uh, at least we have strings now so we can make bowls and also, uh, also huh, make the dispensers that we need. Do I have the sword here? I think, I think it's in the storage here. I hope a creeper doesn't blow everything up again because the second time will be really... Oh no, I replaced those blocks with the wrong thingy. I, I haven't... Oh no, I need to place soul sand there. Get some XP here. And whoa, don't need this creeper. Don't need you. Why haven't the creeper seen me? That's one question. <laughs> yeah, need to take care of this area. Maybe make the floor into slabs. That would be probably safer <laughs> because this has to remain dark even darker than it already is uh, but you know it's it's temptation you know i don't need to optimize this because this is provisory uh, my mob farm will take care of all the mobs in the overworld uh, maybe except for for enderman yeah and it will also take care of the spiders so i don't need to improve this farm but it's tempting all the time i'm here and thinking about ways of improving this uh, it's only uh, 11 episodes uh, so far, so I, I don't have a lot of resources and all, all the things I'm, I have been doing, like the, 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 the trading system with the redstone, uh, it costs me a lot of hours mining for redstone because I don't have a witch farm, I don't have anything. But you know what, this is a pretty fun time to be playing uh, when, you, when you don't have everything already, so you have to... Oh, the, the invisible spiders! They look so nice. The invisible spiders are the best. Spiders with effects were actually a great idea, in my opinion. They add a lot to the game. Uh, in opposition to things like not being able to place pumpkins on, <laughs> on transparent blocks, this doesn't add anything to the game at all. <laughs> but guys, uh, this, this has been some work today. And I want to thank you guys for watching and hello zombie and hopefully I will see you next time on the next episode. Don't forget to leave me some feedback in the comments. I always read all the comments and take your ideas into account and adapt everything you guys uh, you guys mentioned in the let's play and I want to keep doing this. So <laughs> uh, if you like the video, maybe leave a like uh, and do come back for the next episode. I will be here doing more and more stuff and I hope to see you back there. So back here, I mean, <laughs> thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye. Have my sword. <laughs>